Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible this drill bit in Fusion 360. So let's get started. Before every single drawing the units are very important so in order to see them correctly we'll go here at document settings and we will see which settings we have. For today's drawing we will use millimeters so the units are fine for us. We'll start through a new component. We'll go here to new component and we will write drill bit. Why not? Press OK and now let's start with a new cylinder. So you can press cylinder, select this plan and you can start straight away from the origin with a circle of 6. Then press enter, then we will add a height of 120 millimeters and then press OK. In the right side we will use the chamfer command. So we'll go to chamfer, select this edge and we will write 0.5 millimeters and look at that. This will be the end of our drill bit. For the other side we will apply the coil command. So let's zoom in, coil, start from the middle and you can write 6 millimeters or you can press or click at this edge. Now let's go here and let's start to write. So the diameter it will be 6 millimeters, revolutions will be just 2, the height it will be minus 60 millimeters, the angle it will remain 0, triangular internal section position it will be outside and the section size 1.5 and of course it will be a new body and then press OK. Now let's create a new sketch also on the surface. We'll use the project command so press the P letter and at this point we will create a center diameter circle with the diameter 4.5. Pay attention to have this 3D sketch checked. We'll go here to the create menu project include and we will select include 3D geometry and we will select just this edge and now press OK. Let's make invisible body 1 and body 2 and look like that. To be easier after that select this edge and delete it. Now our mission is to construct a line but to be a line that continues our spiral. In order to do that of course we will apply the line command but let's start from this point and pay attention to this red axis. We need to rotate the entire origin. Keep it in mind that here we have the red axis. So grab this button and start to rotate with 145 degrees. Now when you want to construct this line you will see that the line follows the blue axis. And now you can write also 10 millimeters. And look at that. This is the result that we search for. After that finish the sketch, make the body one visible again and let's apply the sweep command. This one it will be the profile and the path it will be the spiral plus this line. Orientation it will be parallel and of course it will be a cutting operation and then press OK and look like that. To multiply it let's go here to create pattern circular pattern and instead of bodies we will select features and the feature for us will be this command of sweep axis zoom out and select the green one quantity will be 2 press ok and look at that and for the final part of the modeling we'll go to the top view double click on the mouse wheel and we will construct here a new sketch. Press on create sketch, select this plan which will be exactly in the middle and we must construct a triangle. So start through a line exactly from the middle. The length doesn't matter so we will write let's say 10 millimeters but the angle is very important and for angle you will write 30 degrees. In order to close our triangle let's construct another two lines. So line command again, select this origin to have this perpendicular and start again a line from here and close the triangle. Finish sketch, revolve command, the axis it will be again the green one, the operation automatically will be cut and press OK and look like that. Our drill bit is done 
and for the final part let's add a color. The default material here in Fusion will be steel of course, but let's change the color. Right click, edit and search from a yellow color. And look like that. Our drill bit now is complete. I hope this video helped you learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.